And tonight, the first hand account from this rodeo scare that you haven't heard yet. Two young women say they were detained and without cause. All I hear is, put your hands where I can see them, put your hands where I can see them. And then the cop proceeds to say, oh, I have two black females, I got the shooters, I got the shooters. The pair recounted the frightening encounter on a video posted to Facebook. You will see it only on two tonight. Those women, 17 and 20 years old, said they did just what everyone else was doing at the rodeo. They ran, but they soon found themselves involved in their worst nightmare. Channel 2 Sion Roads tonight with the exclusive story. Sion. And those young women, women said they couldn't believe that after running from a possible shooter here Tuesday night, they found themselves at the other end of a deputy's gun. In the midst of the chaos and confusion at the rodeo carnival Tuesday night. Look like they run for their lives. So our natural human instinct is to run for our lives too because all we hear is, oh, it's a shooting, it's a shooting. 17 year old Paige, a high school junior, and 20 year old London joined the crowd, running from an unknown shooter, but soon found themselves under suspicion. Next thing I know, all I hear is, Put your hands where I can see him. Put your hands where I can see him. A Harris County Sheriff's deputy stopped the best friends in their tracks. And then the cop proceeds to say, oh, I have two black females. I got the shooters. I got the shooters. I need backup. I need backup. So I turn my head about a good two centimeters and I see a gun in this man's hand. The young women said they were terrified as the deputy patted them down. I know you had a gun. I know this. I know that. This man handling both of us. Worried what would happen if they even flinched. I was just praying to God, like, please, London, please don't move a muscle because, yeah. I didn't want to lose my sister that day. Mm -hmm. My heart dropped. It sunk. Vanessa Posey, London's mother, met with the sheriff's office today demanding answers and accountability. I think they do need retraining because the initial response should not be pull out that gun and put your gun in a child's face. It's very traumatizing. It's not something that we can just get over in a day. It's not something that we can just sleep on. This is going to be here for the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. And we asked the sheriff's office why that deputy detained those two young women in particular. A spokesperson would only say it's because they matched a, quote, general description of people who may have been involved in the shooting and that they were briefly detained but then released. The women and their, the young women and their families say that is not good enough. They want an apology from the Harris County Sheriff's Office. They are also filing formal re complaints. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.